What's up? Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Here you can find NBA rookie analysis, NBA NBA breakdowns, NBA tributes to the legend, and NBA hottest topics. Also, NBA what to expect all season long, 365, summer league, preseason, and NBA regular season, and some Olympics every once in a while. I got you covered on basketball, but make sure you like on Facebook and show support. A link will be in the comment section if you're on YouTube. And also, if you like on Facebook, make sure you subscribe to AnalysisPlayground.com, the website, because I'm moving more towards the website than YouTube. Thanks for the support and hope you enjoy the videos. What well, is good, YouTube? I know this summer league, but he can cut to the basket. Because of Lou Wall going to give him some easy offense. You got D'Angelo Russell doing it again, coming off the screen, getting an easy layup. It would have been the goal 10 anyway. He can he got enough athleticism to get to the basket at will, especially off screens. He can go down the hill like you see right there and bank it right in. He's crafty. He's smart. He got a high basketball IQ. He's patient. He gets the screen, and he goes right downhill again and puts it right off the backboard again. D'Angelo Russell also can get some transition buckets from steals and outlet passes from rebounds. And this helps him up his efficiency and it gives him easy buckets to add to his point total. Also, D'Angelo Russell is an excellent spot-up three-point shooter. He improved as the season went on last year. He shot 35%, which you want to shoot around 35 to 36. He can post up too, as you see. He posts up, blew right past his man, got an and one. And right here, he posts up, and he got a little step back fadeaway or to just turn around off the right or left shoulder fadeaway. But I want to talk more about, as you see, his transition bucket. I want to talk more about his dominance off the pick and roll. He picks his spot smart. He goes under the screen. He pops him with the three. He's going to have to do that a lot this season because a lot of people are going to go under to force him to shoot. He does the same, so he just pulls up the three. He gave him too much airspace and too much room, so he had the confidence to pull that up. And you see it again. He gets the screen, he goes under the screen, he pulls up from 30, makes that all net. He's torturing his the team, the team that's going against him because he got unlimited range, kind of like Steph Curry. He has a lot of swagger, a lot of confidence in his game. And then he goes under the screen, another pull-up jump shot, all net. D'Angelo Russell can be unguardable at times. And here again, he goes under the screen, gives him his space, and D'Angelo Russell punishes him again. You have to respect the jump shot. And we all know D'Angelo Russell hit a couple game winners last year, including Summer League. He's clutch. The man has all-around skills. I can see him winning most improved player of the year just because he can shoot threes with add to his point total. He's going to have the ball in his hand a lot more because Kobe Bryant is gone. So he can shoot 16 to 17 shots a game, and he can shoot threes. He can finish in the paint, get and ones. He can come off the screen, get stop and pop jump shots off the screens, whether it's mid-range or the three. And on top of that, he can get hot from stretches. He can, he can get on shooting sprees. He can get scorching from the field. But sometimes he can go cold because he relies a lot on his jump shot. But D'Angelo Russell going to get a lot more touches. He's going to get a lot more times to show that he can dominate games this year because he is a starter. Last year he came a little bit off the bench. And he couldn't really get into a rhythm. Now he's starting right out of the gate. So that gives him a good opportunity to put up excellent stats. Last year he put around 13 points a game. This year he can average more. He already put up 20. So he already averaging 20 points a game to start the season. If he can hover around 18, 19, or 20 points a game, which is possible because he showed that last year. With a spring, with a series of 20 point, 30 point, and 18 point games. If he can average around 18 to 20 points a game, he's going to be right in that conversation for most improved player of the year. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think D'Angelo Russell can win most improved player of the year? I think he can. I think he's going to be a candidate. Same with Zach Levine. Same with Miles Turner. Same with. A lot of other guys that's going to have opportunity to prove themselves, mostly the rookies, going to get more minutes and more opportunities. So let me know what you guys think. Can D'Angelo Russell be the Lakers' 
most improved player. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, and share.